couples have the right to marry. We're hearing from people on both sides of the argument. Okay, uh, Sandy, what do you have to say? Well, the, say I'm absolutely proud to claim the Bible as God's word and authority. But I would just say this. All truth is God's truth. The case against homosexual behavior can be made absent of the scriptures, and I'm happy to do that. Uh, I would just say what she just described, Charlene, is it? Uh, when you talk about discrimination and the misery of being a lesbian, that's what I thought there I heard you no say. There is no misery. Gay, right at, up front, Sorry. is the wrong name for that. It is. It's broken hearts. It's disease. It is an unnatural... Oh, excuse me. Oh, you, excuse me. You guys, you guys, really? you guys from Australia have disease. I know better. I know what's that. Oh, my God. Brian, what do you have to say? Oh, what they just I, I don't know how you can look at me. and It's not about being married. Until our government treats us equally, you have an excuse to discriminate against me. I've, five years ago, my own. <laughs> my father beat me up for being gay. Tried to beat the gay out of me because it's God's word. And he used the Bible to justify hitting me. Well, it's not then, in the Bible. No, no, stop. Me. Then, right before... <laughs> Walking down the street, do you think I woke up and wanted to be gay? Walking down the street, I get people call me faggot. I got gay bashed. I had to spend my birthday in the hospital. I didn't have any family. I didn't have any women. You know what? I didn't have anyone there because they used the Bible as an excuse. And so I had to go through that all by myself. So how dare you? How dare you just hate me like that? You are not a Christian. You hate me. And that is not a Christian. One thing I hate. I do respect everybody for their beliefs. You know, I respect this side. I respect this side. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. But one thing that is important to me is is, is realizing pain in a human being. Mm -hmm. And whatever you believe, whether you don't approve of what somebody, how they live their life, to me, what hurts is the lack of empathy for pain. Not gay, not straight, but pain. And Sandy, when I was looking at you and seeing this young man in pain, I didn't feel that. That's that. because I see emotional and mental instability. That That is what I see. And I'm not saying that it's right that his father hurt him. I, they don't deserve to, nobody has a right to put their hands on them because of the way they choose to be. However, however, the, his way of lifestyle is a lifestyle that he has chosen. I need to talk about the celebration of my life. Talk about